It's not TV, it's HBO. Hello, Mr. Hoffa. You are beautiful, shut up. What are you gonna do? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 HBO shows of all time. For this list, we've combined dramas and comedies, but have eliminated one-time specials or miniseries. So Band of Brothers fans, you're out of luck. Number 10, True Blood. You ever pretend to be one of us again? And I'll kill you. Got it? Supernatural, super strange, and super sexy, this HBO creation capitalized on the vampire craze, only they aimed squarely at adults. You had sex with a vampire? I was broke, and he paid me a lot of money. Following Sookie Stackhouse and her circle of acquaintances around Louisiana, this Golden Globe and Emmy-winning series blends mystery and fantasy with problems like addiction and minority rights. We're citizens. We pay taxes. We deserve basic civil rights just like everyone else. Yeah, but, I mean, come on, doesn't your race have a rather sordid history of exploiting and feeding off innocent people? Set in a world where vampires, humans, and other creatures knowingly live side by side, True Blood can be over the top, but it's always thrilling. I'll fuck you, and then I'll eat you. Number nine, Sex and the City. So, how big was it? Fresh pepper. Leading the charge for series like Girls, this was HBO's first female-centric effort, and it pervaded pop culture like nobody's business. It's like the riddle of the Sphinx. Why are there so many great unmarried women and no great unmarried men? Centered on sex columnist Carrie Bradshaw, her girlfriends, and their endless parade of men, this award-winning show defined an era with its frank sex talk, fashion, cosmos, and Manolos. Hello, lover. Though its legacy was tainted by some substandard movies, Sex and the City remains one of the most sharply written series ever. Maybe some women aren't meant to be tamed. Maybe they need to run free until they find someone just as wild to run with. Number eight, Deadwood. F you! File this one under canceled before its time. A gritty western set in 1870s South Dakota, Deadwood chronicles the development of a town that houses the baddest guys around, blending historical figures into a fictional story. It's only Wild Bill Hickok you got stalled here in the muck. It's celebrated for its awesome acting, wonderful writing, and crazy cursing. Leaves the godless savage sucker Sue on the warpath. If that long-haired, loudmouth had held his end up, we could be operating here in peace. With an excellent ensemble cast and eight Emmys won. It's a head-scratcher to think HBO acts this one after three seasons. I'll be the f***ing sheriff. Starting when? Starting now. Number seven, Oz. Anything you got belongs to me. You understand? This was HBO's first offering to fully exploit the lack of restrictions offered on premium cable. <laughs> Taking place at the Oswald State Correctional Facility, this series liberally features the profanity, violence, and uncomfortable-to-watch situations expected in jail. <laughs> Meaning rape and murder comes standard. He made me rip up pictures of my family. He made me eat the pages of a law book. He made me wear women's makeup, and he f***ed me up the ass. A visceral tale of prison life, race relations, and survival with an ensemble cast personifying its flawed heroes. Oz is definitely no place like home. They're suddenly free in a whole other kind of way. They're ready to die. Number six, Six Feet Under. The new hearse is totaled. Your father is dead and my pot roast is ruined. At first glance, this show is about family dynamics, but the theme of death cannot be ignored. The Fisher family runs the local funeral home, and this tragic comedy examines their daily lives as they repeatedly confront mortality. Shot his wife point blank in the head, right? Then turned it around and shot himself in the mouth. Some seriously close casket shit, right? Now look at this. Huh? Like the bride and groom on top of a cake. Sounds depressing, but it earned critical acclaim with a talented cast as well as smart and darkly funny writing. Did you ever suck a guy's toe? Yeah. 
Me too. Plus, with one of the most universally loved finales in recent memory, it left fans resting in peace. We'll deal you in next hand. Number five, curb your enthusiasm. I don't really get this fascination that people have with the ocean. No? No. I mean, I, I stare at it for 10 minutes and I go, okay, I get it. This is what Seinfeld would have been if it hadn't aired on network TV. Larry, we already screwed up one finale. We can't do another. We didn't screw up a finale. That yeah. was a good finale. Yeah. Yeah. Starring Seinfeld co-creator Larry David as a fictionalized version of himself, Curb evolved from cult secret to hugely celebrated hit. Like its predecessor, it deals with daily minutia and social awkwardness that's uncomfortable to the nth degree. Look at this. With celebrity guest stars improvising dialogue so raw it has to be HBO, this show is pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. Number four, Boardwalk Empire. In less than two hours, liquor will be declared illegal by decree of the distinguished gentlemen of our nation's Congress. <laughs> To those beautiful, ignorant bastards. Yeah. Don't let the Prohibition era setting fool you. There are plenty of wild times to be had on the boardwalk. Led by Steve Buscemi as Atlantic City politician Nucky Thompson, this period piece meshes history with fiction to create a visually stunning, richly populated show full of characters you don't want to meet in a dark alley. We've been on the road for 18 hours. Shh. I need a bad some chow, and then you and me sit down, and we talk about who dies. With women, booze, corruption, and violence as the order of the day, this ain't your father's gangster show. <laughs> Number three, The Sopranos. Do you feel depressed? Since the ducks left. It's called one of the greatest, most groundbreaking, most game-changing shows ever. Well, Carmela, the guy spends the night here with you. And all he does is slip you a wafer? That's verging on sacrilege. Oh, I didn't mean to verge. With a cast of largely unknown actors depicting the ins and outs of Italian-American mob life, this show is about everyday Americans more than most would care to admit. Dad, he wasn't being funny. You mind your own goddamn business, unless you want some of this too. With brutal violence, personal demons, and one of TV's most beloved antiheroes, The Sopranos is the series that gave television as much credibility as films despite its ambiguous end. Don't stop. Number two, The Wire. Two guns, remember? Nothing. Two. Thanks to dismal ratings, it was labeled the best show no one watched. But that doesn't speak to its quality. See about your money, bro. Outlining the harsh reality of inner city Baltimore drug life, from the lowliest dealer to the toughest politician, the Wire strives for realism in its dialogue, characters, settings, and storylines. You can't take a beating neither, so the first thing you do, you get all emotional. You pull your gun out, you do some dumb shit, then now we gotta work around. Brought to life by little-known character actors and real-life Baltimore residents, this series has a depth few can match. Smart kiddo. When I roll back in an hour, this corner's bone dry, the people are done for the day. Number one. Game of Thrones. He won't be a boy forever. And winter is coming. With its ambition and huge budget, HBO's Rome made way for Game of Thrones. And thank the Lord Stark it did. There's our brave men knocking at our door. Let's go kill them. George R.R. R. Martin's epic fantasy story is challenging to adapt. But if fan interest is any indication, they're doing a bang-up job. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. Spanning a vast universe that's brimming with characters you both love and loathe, Game of Thrones touches on various socio-political themes. You'll kiss it again when I return, and taste my uncle's blood. Will you slay him yourself? with enough intense sex and violence to keep anyone interested. Do you agree with our list? Which HBO show do you think is best? How long do we have to go for? How long do we hold out the better the sex? For more top tens about your favorite series, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. What's your rush? <laughs> I'm going now!